the latest adaptation of The Joker. Directed by Todd Phillips in 2019, provides yet another dark interpretation of the infamous Batman antagonist. While the previous depictions of the character emphasize his vindictive nature and twisted sense of humor, the 2019 version takes a deeper dive into his troubled psyche and abusive past, painting a picture of a damaged young man seeking validation in a world that rejects him at every turn. With a haunting soundtrack and eerie cinematography, the film follows Arthur Fleck, a mentally ill stand-up comedian who transforms into the Joker, becoming the voice of Gotham City's voiceless citizens. The narrative explores the destructive cycle of violence caused by societal inequality, providing thought-provoking commentary on mental health care disparities and systemic oppression against low-income families. The darkest aspect of the Joker lies within our own ability to dismiss the significance of mental pain and trauma, allowing Fleck to fall victim to an endless array of maladjustments until he breaks, ultimately leading him to commit violent acts toward both allies and enemies under the guise of liberating the downtrodden from a corrupt government. By analyzing the film, one might learn some dark truths lurking in its narrative, as well as gain insight into a potential new genre emerging within the industry. The perils of not caring about fellow human beings. When it comes to empathy, there's no denying that it's been lacking in recent times. We hear countless news reports discussing shootings, hate crimes, and discrimination. Yet rarely do we hear anyone offering support, assistance, or even just understanding towards those who have faced such events. This is one of the main reasons why, how did he become Joker? Question continues to be relevant, and why Arthur Fleck remains relatable to audiences across the globe. Throughout the film, Fleck's tragic existence begs the viewer to confront the ugliness hidden behind polished facades and false bravado. It forces the audience to consider what actions could have been taken to alter the course of Fleck's life before he became the Joker, and by extension, prevent similar occurrences in society. Instead of offering simple solutions or magical fixes to complex problems, Phillips' approach offers no comfort or easy answers, but rather raises questions that are both challenging and necessary if we wish to understand the roots of violence and despair plaguing our communities today. By showing the consequences of ignoring systemic issues affecting people like Fleck, Phillips forces viewers to recognize that treating everyone with dignity should never depend on someone else's definition of normalcy, beauty, worthiness, or success. Because they're meaningless constructs created only to prop up certain groups while diminishing others. Everyone deserves equal value and respect as fellow humans, irrespective of any perceived flaw or difference. Otherwise, Fleck will remain one among many, waiting to become a martyr for change. Unveiling our real selves by honest introspection and emotional processing. Fleck's story depicts the power of exploring repressed emotions harbored for so long they consume individuals unaware of alternative coping strategies better suited for current situations rather than holding on to past pain indefinitely without questioning ourselves or actively digging deeper into why we feel certain ways, bottled frustrations accumulate escalating into explosive responses negatively impacting relationships with everyone surrounding us instead of just ourselves alone. Like Fleck, admitting lingering distress doesn't warrant hurting others yet. It still merits open conversation sharing those confined secrets in order to collectively overcome together. This lesson serves as a clarion call resounding with contemporary parallels from school shootings, domestic violence incidents, or mental health crises plaguing nations today, demanding collaboration on equal footing rather than dismissal or suppression by ignoring root causes needing addressed. We create our own monsters and demons. Inside all individuals exists an inherent capacity to shape their destiny based on lived experiences and encounters with other people's choices. What we witness repeatedly across human history and literature echoes how personal tribulations drive many to transform into iconic representations of vice or evil incarnate. Usually, society chooses victims whose sufferings lead toward metamorphosis into various infamies like vengeful spirits, 
or terrifying fiends. Influenced by their environment and tragedies faced along the way, such legacies develop out of accumulating hardships suffered at the hands of fellow humans. Their eventual paths follow a logical sequence, starting from birth defects leading to neglect or abuse during childhood spent navigating harsh socioeconomic realities. Those factors often snowball into negative labels applied by the community coupled with dismissals of their needs because of some form of physical or mental difference. Growing feelings of isolation accompany gradual exclusion, feeding fresh angers or despairs inside souls longing for acceptance or understanding. Inevitably, once adults face numerous rejections without hope or change from socially constructed barriers erected around them, their destinies reach points of no return similar to Arthur Fleck. Fleck stands as a prime example of someone reaching the tipping point due to a chain reaction set off by initial detriments in his early years, followed by later traumas resulting from calloused indifference shared by strangers, authorities, romantic interests, and co-workers alike. Each encounter served as another reminder Fleck merits neither love nor consideration from anyone other than imaginary friends sharing his loneliness. Ultimately, the totality of damages imposed by society on Fleck solidifies why his psyche becomes Joker. Fleck never had anything resembling support while facing ceaseless emotional or physical afflictions from the beginning of life until its end. Fleck exemplifies how specific combinations of occurrences push an individual onto paths reserved only for nightmarish figures. In conclusion, The Joker was a thought-provoking film that raised important questions about issues such as mental illness and the treatment of marginalized groups. It asks important questions about our society's treatment of marginalized individuals and the way we value human life. In many ways, it feels like a cautionary tale about the dangers of ignoring systemic problems and failing to address injustice. As we navigate these difficult themes, it serves as an important reminder that art can hold up a mirror to our own failings and inspire us to do better. Ultimately, it offers no easy answers or tidy conclusions. Instead, it leaves us with a sense of unease that lingers long after the credits roll. We are left to consider what this movie means for ourselves and for society at large, and how we might work towards positive change within our communities.